All right, you guys, I had to go off camera. I had to go back to the lab on that one right there. You know, my um, color mixture was not working. It was way off. Trust me when I tell you, this is not the color I was going for. I, I feel like I look like the mask with Jim Carrey, but in a, a different color version. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just act like I don't see that right now. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, devos? What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube family? So today I figured I'm going to try out this makeup from Sheen, okay? You know, Sheen, the very popular website where you can get all these, like, really great clothing items from China. And from what I've been seeing, they really are true to size. But Sheen is really popular. They got some really nice clothes. I'm trying to figure out for the life of me. Would they stop sending me all this makeup? Like, listen, they got their own makeup line, really affordable makeup products, and some of them are so nice. Like, when I say nice, like, they really have some really nice, affordable makeup. So this is what today's video is about. They sent me these eyeshadow palettes, y'all. I don't really do, like, all the crazy-looking colors or anything like that. But out of the five eyeshadow palettes that they sent me, I do have my two favorites, you know? The other three, I did give those to my daughter. You know me, I just keep it to the neutrals. They have a really nice new eyeshadow palette. Some really, really pretty colors. I do like their makeup, but the one thing that just like boggles my mind about them is their skin color, their foundations, or uh, concealers. I think like I am the darkest in an African-American shade on their website. Like mocha is my color on their website. So. When it comes to like shades like that, trust me, they ain't got 50 shades. They got like probably like six and they way off. But other stuff like eyeshadow and blush and stuff like that, great. You know what I'm saying? Concealers even, depending on how light, how light you like your concealer. Girl. Mm -hmm. So once again, they sent me some makeup. They sent me their eyeshadow palettes. And they also sent me their new, new setting powders, their new setting powders. One is supposed to be like a translucent. Other is supposed to be like a color called Sand Smooth, which to me I'm feeling like it's probably like banana powder. But the packaging, their packaging is really unique and I like it. So I'm gonna try that out with you guys. But she, Sheen, Sheen's She Glam Makeup, they have like a bunch of products. Like I've had this of theirs, Perfect Setting Powder. And then this here, I don't know what, it, what this one is, but it's a loose powder and this color is dark brown. So you see the color is dark brown. This is really not a dark brown, but you know. So their, their shades are really off and this is also considered a dark brown, it says. And this is definitely not a makeup tutorial, okay? Because I cannot teach nobody how to do any makeup. But we're gonna start this off with some of the Slay All Day. Now, it, <clears throat> whew, it does say that you can use this as a setting spray, like a primer spray. And also to set your makeup, I like to use it for both because I love that setting spray. A little bit too much though. Got my nails redid the other day. But anyway, I'm, I'm wearing this nail polish from an Amazon seller, an Amazon vendor called Model Ones. And y'all know how I be feeling about Amazon. Amazon Prime, you get your shit on time, girl, okay? It came with some other really handy stuff. So if you guys like doing your own nails, then check it out. You know what, I'm about to use this cuticle revitalizer oil. So it came with these really cool gadgets. Well, they're not even gadgets. It came with some really cool stuff like this revitalizer oil. Yeah, I, I definitely need this for my dry hands. So it comes with one of these. Let's see, with a twist top. Let's see how oily this is, because a girl needs some oil up on her cuticles. For real, rub these shit together. You need to come with some cocoa butter for the palms of my dry ass hands. This is like the lipstick series um, nail polish. It came with eight different nail polishes. Two of them are top and base, um, base coat and top coat. I have on this burgundy wine color. 
nail polishes look like lipsticks. It also came with, which I thought was cute, which was even cuter. It came with like, you know, the normal stuff, the, um, you know, what do you call those? Emery boards and cuticle pushbackers and a brush. It came with that stuff. But it also came with an LED lamp, mini lamp. This part I thought was so freaking cute. Also like some little stickers. I'm gonna try these stickers out, but I got my nails polished at the nail salon. I wasn't doing all of that. But this is the LED light thing. Little charger. Okay, doesn't this look like a mouse? Like it looks like a um, Apple mouse, but just a little bit bigger, real cute. But you flip the legs open on it. This is the part that I thought was just so dope. You flip the legs open, it stands up like so cute right and it just lights up like wow i thought it was really cute you know how i feel about amazon amazon prime get your stuff on time girl but um if you like doing gel nail polishes and you're a pro at it then so i already went ahead and sprayed that stuff on my face face primer on i'm using some of this sasha mattifier face primer I'm just telling y'all this because this is me i'm definitely not a makeup artist okay My lips are so dry right now, or my mouth is so dry. I've been drinking this water. Lips are dry. Now y'all know how I feel about them brows, okay? Remember the brow, the brow video I did, okay? Here goes blessing right here. Y'all thought I was bull, bull, bull crapping y'all when I told y'all um I was gonna continue using them. Girl, I've been using these brow stencils, okay? I absolutely love them. I just use the brow gel. I actually do like the brow gel too. This stuff is pretty darn decent. Yes, yes. Now she glam, she glam, she. Like I was saying, they got some really cute stuff. Okay, like their priceables, their priceables, their prices are really decent. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. I did make an account and got some stuff in my cart. All right. Now, when I say stuff in my cart, that shit'll probably sit there for the longest. You know what I mean? Like, it'll probably sit there for a minute. You ever be one of those people who just put stuff, just add stuff to the cart? You go on a website, you make an account. You have good intentions of buying the product. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you just want to wait until that moment. Like, I don't know if it's you trying to hold on to your money or whatever. But, you know, do you just go on websites and make accounts and then leave stuff in the cart? Because you got to think about it. I mean, by the time you think about it, it's probably sold out, not available, or you changed your mind about the entire thing, like, oh, this is definitely not for me. I'm glad I didn't buy this. That'd be me, like, don't know if I should buy it or not. Look, I told y'all, these blessings are definitely blessings. I love these templates. This is the only one I've used since. Now look, I told y'all, I would use this template on a daily basis or, or not even a daily basis but when I want to do my brows and this is like where you have to concentrate because you want your brow to come out like really really good you know what I mean I don't want it to look so fake this eyebrow always seemed to come out better than the than the right one. You ever have a brow like that? And everyone says like, oh, they're not supposed to be twins. They're sisters. Well, I'm sorry, but is it just me or am I the only one in the world that wants their eyebrows to be twins? I like seriously want them to match, you know? I, I wish people would feel that way about the eyeliner then. They're sisters, they're not twins. So that way I have an excuse of going outside with one of my eyeliners over here up further than the other one like if that needs to be a rule for eyeliner then they're both sisters not twins because oh my god that be the the downfall of my day with the eyeliner when i have the good days with, with eyeliner girl i want to do like a million videos just because my eyeliner then came out perfect let's hope and pray that this came out perfect okay not too bad I'm definitely going to clean it up with my NYX pen. You know what I tell y'all? I like for, I like for my brows to look like I'm a little excited. Happy to see y'all. Everybody's here. Here we go. That's that's how I like for my brows to look. Like, like I'm glad to see y'all. This 
this is the part that, that just pisses me off. When I'm not on camera, I want to perform perfectly, but then when I'm on camera, I want to have like a shaky hand. Of course, my pupils are red because, well, you know, I'm just living my best life. It's 420 friendly. I am, so, hey. I figured I would do the other eyebrow off camera because girl it takes concentration. You gotta like woosah before you do your eyebrows or your eyeliner. That's like the main thing. So I just blended them in. I'm telling you guys, I love this freaking NYX Lift and Snatch eyebrow pen. You guys gotta try it out. It's amazing. You can easily blend. It makes them look like fine hairs. It makes life so much easier, I'm telling you. For my foundation, you know what I'm saying? I have to kind of like mix them together. I'm not about to keep buying foundation over and over again. I got so many foundations and so much makeup in my um, collection that I just don't want to buy anymore. This I'm using here is the Saint Laurent, East Saint Laurent's All Hours Primer. I love this stuff. I know I did put on primer already, which was the um, Sasha mattifying one, but that sometimes makes my face a little bit too matte, a little bit too dry. But I'm gonna use my two favorite foundations. Really did like this brand, especially for foundations, which was the Becca Cosmetics. I freaking love Becca Cosmetics, especially her foundation. This one is in the color Bamboo, and this is the Ultimate Cover Complexion one. The last time that I was at Ulta, which was so many months back, was told that they're no longer gonna be selling it because Becca Cosmetics went out of business or some something like some shit like that. If y'all know what I'm talking about, leave your comment down below. Now, normally what I would do was set put a little bit of setting powder on my face. I don't really know if I should use this She Glam like that. Really cute packaging. This is it. This is the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. On the top. It's a powder, just like, you know, a regular face pressed powder. That's what this is on the top. And if you unscrew it, then you have your diffuser for the loose. Not really sure though if this is like translucent like that because it's white. Now this is the sponge that they sent. Just the sponge right here that they sent. Velvety sponge, this is nice. Okay, this is nice. Oh, and it's cute because look, you can turn it and lock it. This is cool. I like that. Because any other time, it just spill out wherever it wants to. But this one is cool. So you just turn it out and you can just let, let it loose. Okay. I don't know, girl. This might not be a, a good idea. Normally, I'll use like this one by Becca Cosmetics. And... It's a translucent powder, but it's like a pink color. And it always worked good for me. Okay, so not so bad because it's not showing up. So I guess it is translucent. Oh, girl, let me make sure I put this in. I was getting a little bit carried away there. Not only do this, so... Because my skin is so oily. Okay. Okay, April. Let me just chill out on a, on a translucent. But... So now I look a little bit paler, or not paler, but just a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit paler. Um, I only use it on my face because my skin's so oily, so I will use it before I um, set my makeup. I mean, put my foundation on. Like I was saying, I'ma just be mixing two colors together. I, I just don't feel like spending any more money on foundation. Like, I have a whole drawer Full, a whole drawer full. The whole thing is this. I'm going to just use up, at least try to use up what I have before wanting to go out and splurge on any more foundation. Let me tell you, I loved having BoxyCharm as um, a monthly subscription. I really did. I liked BoxyCharm a lot. Now look, I mix it together now and this is my own perfect color and I just put it like that. Let's see. All right, you guys, I had to go off camera. I had to go back to the lab on that one right there. You know, my um, color mixture was not working. It was way off. Had me almost feeling like the Incredible Hawk. Like this weird yellowish, greenish color. I don't know if it was the lighting. Trust me when I tell you, this is not the color I was going for. 
So let's fix up the eyebrows. I, I feel like I look like the mask with Jim Carrey, but in a, a different color version. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just act like I don't see that right now. And I'm going to clean up my eyebrows. Sheen's She Glam. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, I want to say I'm grateful, but I don't want to sound like some desperate Debbie by saying I'm grateful, okay? So I'm going to just say I appreciate the um, the free makeup from Sheen. But goddamn, can I get like a couple of outfits to pair the makeup, the eyeshadow with? Y'all don't even see me do makeup videos like that, but I'm not gonna complain. But they have like some nice concealers, they really do. Um, it just depends on the color and the shade that you're looking for. I have like my certain concealers that I really like to use. Like I do like this L'Oreal Infallible full wear. I love it. I love it. The more I look at myself, the more I get like, I'm, I'm getting like, whoa, April, maybe you should turn the lights up. You're looking like Jim Carrey's friend. I'm going to, I'm going to fix up my brows here instead of talking. But this is their, um, prolonged concealer by She, their She Glam collection. I see they have some really cute plus size outfits on She and the price is right. And from what I'm hearing about the shipping, the shipping is not bad at all. My daughter, Nay, always orders from um, the Sheen website. And Mumsy, too. And their stuff comes pretty darn fast. And I think it's free shipping. I think I'm not... Look, don't quote... Do not quote me the lion. And see, this is their Sheen... Um, their She Glam. See, I keep saying Sheen. Well, it's a part of it. That's how bad I would like an outfit. A couple of months back, they came out here to Arizona and did their little pop-up thing. You know, they had a little pop-up shop and stuff. Um, my two daughters, Mumsy and Nay, they went to it, but they were all sold out by the time they got there. They do have some really cute outfits, though. Now, their concealers be really good, though, okay? I do like their concealers. And when I tell y'all that those templates from Amazon really make a difference, like, they make life so much easier. And I swear, even if you have to do a little bit of cleaning up and adding on to, or just, you know, clean up, they still are worth, worth it. Like, you're not starting from scratch, scratch. Now see, it's coming along, it's coming along. I'm probably not gonna use the same concealer under my eyes because that's where the creases be. But you know how you have like your favorites, like you don't wanna use it in any particular area because you already know how that one particular area is going to end up being. I'm gonna set these eyelids too because I don't want them to get greasy. I'm gonna use their Perfect Setting Powder, this one here. I'm pretty sure they still have this on the website. This one doesn't have one of those cool like turn things though. I'm gonna set my lids a little bit before I put on my pressed powder. But I tell y'all, I am very basic when it comes to the eyeshadow. Now this little sponge is cool, but you know how you have your favorites? I'm not like really fond of the sponge only because I have one that is, you know, my favorite. Me, I just like to keep it simple. I don't really use too many different colors on my eyelids because if I do, it's going to end up like mud. The first thing that I, April, do, I will use one of my pressed powders mm -hmm, as the, the base for the color of my eyelids. But I tell y'all, I am not a makeup artist, but I just want to try out this eyeshadow palette. And you know, look, I'm gonna go for the neutral color. So I'm gonna use this one, which is the Milani one. And I just take my little brush, girl, and just go right into the into the lid with it. I do want the bottom part to be a little bit lighter. They got some really nice colors, but I'm not about to be using like greens and blues. Like, I, I just don't. And like, even this is nice too, but I'm gonna just use this one right here with the little nice neutral looking leopard right here. Okay, that's what we're gonna use, okay? No slip ups. I, I just try to stay in my zone, you guys, because I feel like if I do, I stay in my zone, everything's gonna work out in my favor. Like, everything is gonna be perfectly fine. I mean, I have some of their palettes, and they're pretty decent. The colors are there, you know? This is gonna be like, for my base color. I'm like way behind in this video, like, making all kind of mistakes and, and stuff. Don't follow me, like this is not a tutorial, I told you guys. This is just me doing makeup. But y'all done made me nervous and made me forget what I was supposed to be doing or my steps like I normally do when I'm alone 
in my room just getting ready for a wig tutorial and I'm hungry. I need like a snack or something, you know. I figured we tried this out. So out of this palette, I think I'm gonna use this color right here because it seems like a nice color that April would like. Nothing too crazy. Hopefully it goes, it goes smooth. Okay. This is definitely a neutral. What color is this? Fast, fast and the fabulous. All right, it's not a bad color. Luckily, I did put the um, concealer on something to brighten it up. This is a color that I would wear. The only thing that I wish this palettes, these palettes had was mirrors in the palettes. I'll say this about She Glam. They do have some nice makeup. Like, it's really cutesy, you know, it's really affordable. Um, like I said, the colors are there. The pigmentation is there. Like, look at this. This this eye look actually came out. This eye color came out really nice. Like. I think the deeper, like not even the deeper, but I think like the top layer is like this, you know, glittery kind of layering on it that makes it come up off as light. But it seems like to me, the more you press into it, the better the color is, the, the better the color payoff is getting. Now we have like this really darker color here, which um, I do like that color, but I do use another color in between that. It's my contour color that I use from my Too Faced palette. I love Too Faced. And I don't even really think it has anything to do about their color payoff. I think it has to do with the packaging. Like they have the most amazing packaging ever. Like I love it. And um, I got like so much, oh, that's why I want to go back to BoxyCharm because I got so much Too Faced pack, um, products from BoxyCharm. I used to love when the Lux boxes would come out. I think the best one out of the BoxyCharm is the premium one, which is like $38 a month. You definitely get like some really like makeup that is just like really worth it. Like to me, I think that one is the best. The Lux one that comes out like quarterly, that one is okay. Sometimes it was a hit and a couple of times it was a miss. I was getting like so much makeup and all these like really nice eyeshadow palettes that I just was like throwing in the bottom of the drawer and not even using. I just had to kind of like leave it alone. But I love to use the deep contour that's in this palette for like my eyelids. I'm gonna try out there, um, I'm gonna try out the brown now in this palette. Um, but this brown is called Pause of Attraction. Pause of Attraction. Okay, I'm gonna use the Sedona brush. Let's see. This is a, a pretty color brown. So like that cocoa um, contour palette by Too Faced, that color I use is like my transition color. I use it all the time. I, I absolutely love it. I'm, I'm wanting to go back to Boxy Charms, but it's like, for what, April? You still got those eyeshadow palettes that you never used. I gave like quite a few of them to my daughter, Nay, and like a whole bunch of my Sheen, She Glam eyeshadow palettes. I gave her those because after a while, they start to look alike. Like, not even alike, but like, okay, you have different brands, but the same damn color. All right, so that's how the brown worked out. I don't know what color is this right here. At the bottom, it's called Spotted. It looks like it wants to be a dark brown. And then it looks like it wants to be like a purplish color. It's a really dark brown. Okay, so this is what I'm coming up with, okay? All right, so we're gonna just leave that. We, I'm gonna hook it up. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my eyeliner. I like to use this eyeliner marker pen thing from Shop Miss A. One dollar, you guys, one dollar. Now watch one eye come out really good, then the other eye come out really good, but they don't match, okay? That's how it always be. All right, now onto 
the mascara. I'm going to just put this on so it can dry. And I'm just going to be using this Pat McGrath Labs mascara. You know, this one right here by Kevin Aquan is my favorite. It has to do with the brush, like, you know, the brush. I'm going to use that one by Kevin Aquan. I love the brush. Let me tell y'all, I had to let my lashes breathe. I haven't worn any individual lashes in probably like two, two and a half months now, three months, two months, something like that. I have been going around looking like a mole rat, bald, bald eyelids um, for that length of time. Now they're there. The lashes have grown since. And I tell y'all, I wore them for years. It got to the point where I would wear them with strip lashes. I just take care of these, of my own natural ones every night, making sure that they, they grow back. So they've been growing back in and I'm happy about that, okay? Really happy about that. I love to use this Kevin Aquan Glass Glow. This make your face look all shiny and dewy. But first, I'm going to put on my concealer. I am going to be using this right here, which is by the Gerard Cosmetics. It's supposed to be just for your eyelids, but um, one day I accidentally used it for the underneath, and I really did like it. I like it. You don't need a lot. It doesn't, like, crease like that. And yeah, I know it looks a little light right right here, but I'm telling you, it it's what I like. I, I like it. I just do. I'm telling you, this whole look is going to come together. You guys are going to be like, you, you were right, April. I'm telling you, the whole entire look is going to come together. Now, I know I look like, like a tribal type of warrior right now. And that's, that's the look that I was definitely going for, you know. But I'm telling you guys, you're going to be like, oh, you're right, April. I'm so hungry right now. You know, you guys are so lucky that I'm polite because I, I really want to go downstairs and get my chicken and rice and eat on camera, okay? Just like eat on camera. I love this sponge. Now it's clean. It's just a different color. It's a lavender color. It's not clean anymore because I've been using it for this particular video, but um, it has like the silicone at one end and the sponge at the other. I freaking love the sponge. And y'all know I'm a huge um, Real Technique, Real Technique sponge lover. Why is it when we do our makeup, and I don't know if it's just me that does this or do you all do this, when you're doing your makeup, especially I think like in the eye area, you know, when you're in the bottom part of the eye area, like when you're in this area, why are you always, is it just me or is anybody else making faces like when they're like, you know, in their eye area or, you know, you're making eyeliner faces or eyeshadow, you're, you're making like these faces, like you're stretching your, are, are, am I stretching my face out? Like, am I the only one that does that when they are under eye concealing? What have you like, you know, making these faces? Why was I about to try to conceal this big old freckle? I'm like, is that a mascara, an eyeliner mark? That's like the biggest and darkest freckle on my face, you know? We're going to try this sand. Um, What is this? The sand, smooth sand. We're going to set it with that. I don't know if I would have wanted to set it with the translucent. Might have came out looking white. Same concept. Here's the press. You know, I feel like I would be so much um, safer using this part versus um, loose powder. So I'm gonna just take this. The look is going to come together. So their makeup is decent, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna hold them on that. They got some pretty decent makeup. I'm gonna go back into that same palette, you know, that color that I use for my eyes. I'm gonna use it on my, um, as my contour, because that's exactly what it's for, deep contour. And this is my favorite contour brush, even though I have like a million. I always gear to like this one. I have to wash it now. And I love the smell of the Too Faced. Like this smells like freaking quick, powder quick. It's time to put on some lashes. They did send some eyelashes from She. Sheen, she glam, but who would I be to actually wear somebody else's lashes when I have and have been coming out with my own brand? Gotta definitely take an iced coffee break. So I have been diligently, due diligently working on my brand. 
Um, finally, my lashes, all the rest of them came in a couple of days ago. I wasn't too thrilled with the way they packaged my shit. The first order that I ever purchased from them was just like me checking out to see what they got. And I was impressed, you know. So I made like a huge order. So you cared about me enough when I made a small order of like $30. But you didn't care enough about me when I made like a huge grand, not grand as in a thousand, but a grande, like a bigger order. They didn't seem like they cared about me too much then. Y'all gonna send me some crushed lashes. I was kind of upset about that. But um, yeah, we're gonna do, I'm gonna wear my own lashes. I, what I tell y'all, the look is gonna come together. We're gonna wear these. I'm gonna put these on. These are from my collection and I'm gonna be wearing these. I've reused this pair right here probably like about eight times already. But I love this duo. Um, in what is it called? Duo, duo quick set. I love it. Now this is how I put my lashes on. It's just easier for me. I use two tweezers, well, one on each end. Guys, so I got the lashes on. Took me a minute. Sometimes I can get, I'm good at the putting these strip lashes on. That's the reason, that's the one reason why I was wearing, um, that's the one reason why I was always wearing individuals because I didn't have to take them off. They last for like two to three weeks, but they also weaken your natural eyelash. So you don't want to keep wearing them. And I was wearing them for years, you guys. Destroyed my own natural long lashes. Now so far, as far as this powder, I'm noticing that it like, kind of like leaves spots or whatever, but you know, we gonna work around that. The look is coming together. I told you guys the look is coming together. The lash line is gonna come out soon. I'm just, right now I'm packaging everything up, you know, getting my boxes together and all of that good stuff. So, you know, it'll be out soon. Um, it's not like, like that I wanted to do like a lash line. I just really wanted to add something to my website where my wigs are at, that's all. When I tell you guys I am hungry, I am starving. That's how I like my bottom lashes to look. I, I want them to be seen, be there. You know, look, the look is coming together, okay? I'm looking a lot better, but I'm gonna use the same powder and sand, and I'm kinda like chisel. Doo -doo -doo. I'm not even really chisel, I don't know. Why am I making that sound? But that's just so that way I could find my, con not even find my contour, but kinda like, you know, okay. I'm not gonna let it sit on too long. I'm gonna be using this. This is the Kevin Aquan Glass Glow Face. I absolutely love this stuff. I got this from um, Octoly.com. If you do videos on YouTube, your creator, on any social media, then you wanna check out Octoly. You can get some really cool free products and all you gotta do in return is do like this, like I'm doing right here. But I've had this for like a year now. I love it, I love it. It gives you like this dewy, dewy look. As far as their powder, I don't like the way it blends and leaves like a line like that. That's what I don't like. And it kind of left like a line. Do you see that sharp line? Like, yeah, not too cool. I try to like buff out the line, buff it out. Not too happy with that. That is definitely a setting powder, okay? That's definitely a setting powder, that thing sat there and didn't go set set itself there this is my favorite part that kevin aquan glow glass face because then i don't look so dry i hate I, like i like a good matte look not to where i'm looking all dry and ashy you know what i mean you don't need a lot like still i still have some on the back of my hand that I didn't even need, but it gives you like this glowy look and I just really do like it a lot. I'm gonna use some of this She Glam um, blush. They have some really cute blushes. Um, they're, they're like an ombre one. The one I'm gonna use is called Seduction. Okay, Seduction. Does making me nervous here. Um, I forgot to put my pressed powder first, so then my blush. That's I'm 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 doing like ass backwards right now. Okay, this is an ass backwards tutorial. I forgot to do this. As far as my highlights, um, I don't have any more of their highlights. I actually um, gave those to my daughter because I have so many highlights. But these, these are actually my favorites too because they were at the Dollar Tree. And they're by the brand Hard Candy. 
like these are some really good uh, highlights. Um, I bought these a couple of years ago, not from the Dollar Tree, but like um, from the actual Walmart. I, I, I was using this in New York actually. This one particular color here, which is Tiki. Not this particular one in my hand, but I've had about two of these already. So this is my third one. Um, but I was using this back in New York and I absolutely loved it. I think it was like seven, eight bucks. But I found them at the Dollar Tree, okay? This was the last one, which is unfortunate because the top was broken, but hey, I don't care. But this is the color in Tiki. And they are just highlights, you know what I'm saying? So baked bronzers, they're baked bronzers, you can use for whatever. This one is a is Heat Wave. Um, I absolutely love them. Uh, I have about four or five of them. This one is Heat Wave. Actual blush, this is a baked blush. And the color is gorgeous. This one is called Sunburst, okay? But you can use it as a highlight too because it's very frosted looking. I found this at the Dollar Tree, but this has been one of my favorites lately. This is by Pixie, which is available at Target. And this is the Glowy Powder Peach Dew. I like their tops because they screw off. And I really do like this one a lot. So I kind of mix in, I mix them together, girl. So I'm go what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Tiki, which has been an all-time favorite of mine. And I put it in like certain areas because it's like low, low maintenance, low maintenance highlight. You know how some people, they want to try some, but they don't want it too glimmed or glammed up or, or, or a glowed up. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to take it like a baby steps. This is what I would think that this would be, but you can, you can definitely build this up as you see I'm doing. But um, yeah, I keep seeing this at the Dollar Tree. I, I keep seeing a lot of hard candy products. I got some primer, face primer by there. Um, and I got it from the Dollar Tree and it's by Hard Candy. It is the, uh, I wanna say like the silicone-ish kind of like um, facial primer, my favorite kind. They had that there. Look, Dollar Tree be having some good shit, okay? And excuse my French, but they, they be having some good shit, okay? So don't sleep on a Dollar Tree. Now this one is Tiki, like I said, this one is Tiki. Dollar Tree, baby, Dollar Tree. And then I like to add, sometimes I'll add some of that Pixie, which is the color Peach Dew, Peach Dew Boo, okay? I also will use this as a eyeshadow right in the corners of my eyes, which I'm about to do, okay? Girl, we gonna just use this makeup for whatever, honey. Now look, I told y'all it was gonna come together. I'm done, hon. I am, that's about it. Like, I mean, I don't know what else to put on my face. I definitely have to put my setting spray. Slay all day. This stuff is like the best stuff ever. I love it. It's definitely a slay all day with that. Okay, this pink is really pretty. Um, I'm just so tempted to try it. Look, I, I go light-handed, girl, okay? Let me not ruin the makeup look, cause I'm, I'm looking really shiny and dewy, you know what I mean? What I, what I will do is I'll take a little bit of the top color right here, and I'll just add a little dab, a little dab to underneath the arch a little bit. I'm just trying to let it shine a little bit. A little dab there. You know, so that way I could like, I got a little glow all over. Glow all the way. Look, I'm saying, the look came together, honey, okay? That was the entire look. So what do I think about the eyeshadow? I think, look, the eyeshadow is workable. I don't really like too much color. So I think it came out decent. Um, You know, I went light-handed. I'm a, let me go light-handed on a lot of stuff, okay? You know, I, I, I will take the whole entire makeup look in baby steps, baby steps. The translucent powder, the setting powder, I think like you definitely have to put it down and pick it right up quick because I've seen like the lines of demarcation. So I'm not really sure how I feel about their setting powder. Like I said, their facial products are, uh, to me in my eyes, kind of like a hit. When I say facial products, like their foundation colors, it's like a hit or a miss. They don't really have too many colors to choose from. You want to keep that in mind, like they don't, but I mean for concealers, depending on what you want, you know, the concealers are great. But so this is this is it, you guys. This is this is it. I'm done. 
now i'm gonna i'm gonna get ready to do a wig tutorial i'm glad that you guys could spend me getting ready with me chatting and talking with me and trying out this makeup i'll put everything down below i forgot to bring my lipstick with me but hey it is what it is you know it was a chit chat it wasn't no tutorial we're not we're not i'm not a pro over here but yes you guys let's um i'll definitely probably put an ending to this with the wig on of choice with this makeup look so you know hopefully i don't forget well how could i how could i but i will be getting something to eat right now while i get ready for my wig videos okay okay i love you guys and i will see y'all in the ending Okay. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look for the makeup look. I think the shirt looks very nice with the eye look. It came together. Oh, so cute, honey. And this wig that I'm wearing, well, girl, look. Okay. Myfirstwigs.com. And I just did the video tutorial for it. Really nice, natural looking. I'm loving it. Y'all know how I feel about my first wigs. Girl, hunties. Girl, hunties. They got loads of nice wigs, girl. But I will leave all of the information below. Let me know what y'all think about the makeup look. You know what I'm saying? Did it come together nicely so nicely? I think like it did. I think like the hair, the, the shirt, everything set off and give it like a neutral look. You know what I mean? Like there's several different looks that I've came up with with this makeup look because I have done um, five weeks since the makeup look so yeah you know, you know what i'm saying but i do like this one here and i thought that the shirt went really really nicely with it but i love you all make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up and i'll see y'all